Factsverse presents A Look Inside Air Force One Air Force One is the name of the plane that transports the President of the United States to various places around the world. U.S. presidents have used it for decades. If you've seen any action movie about the President of the United States, you probably think you know what Air Force One looks like. But there are a lot of features you probably don't know. Let's take a look inside of Air Force One. You might assume that Air Force One is just a name, but it actually has a purpose. The first president to use the plane was John F. Kennedy, and he didn't just pull the name out of thin air. The name is actually a call sign. Call signs are names that are used over radio communication, used by pilots and air traffic controllers. Any plane that a U.S. president flies anywhere in the world, even if it's not the official Air Force One plane, is still considered Air Force One. There's only one Air Force One in the sky at any time, and it just means that the plane is flying the American president. Most people think there's only one official plane that's used for Air Force One, but there are actually more. If the president's plane is not working for some reason, he's going to have to have a backup. So that's why the military built two special planes for the president. They both have the same call name, of course, and they're both used from time to time and are only called Air Force One if the president's on board. The two that are currently in use were built in 1990, when George H. W. Bush was in office. Both planes are a bit different, so each president has had a favorite, and the military makes sure that they can be flown in a moment's notice. Because the president flies on Air Force One and split-second decisions might need to be made, the plane is equipped with all tools necessary for any situation that might come up. At all times, both planes must have a mobile command center set up complete with highly digitalized communication security. If there's an attack or a national emergency in the U.S., the president needs to be able to communicate from wherever he is, even at 30,000 feet. At all times, the president needs to know what's going on so that they can respond adequately. Over the years, there have been several makes and models that were used for Air Force One. As technology advances, so has the planes. The current Air Force One is a Boeing. They are used by major airlines internationally, and they have a reputation for being very high-quality planes. The planes used have four engines that are built to last. Boeings have been used since Dwight Eisenhower was in office, and he was also known to use a Lockheed C-121 Super Constellation. The name Air Force One it was created in 1953, after an incident involving President Eisenhower. An aircraft, Eastern Airlines Flight 8610 and Air Force 861, carrying President Eisenhower, just so happened to be flying in the same airspace at the same time, and that created a bit of confusion, with the numbers being 8610 and 861. Well, since then, only the President's plane can be called Air Force One. While there are plenty of planes in the air with the same names, nobody is allowed to use Air Force One as their plane's name. There is an Air Force One and there's also an Air Force Two. This is the plane responsible for flying, you guessed it, the Vice President. It's a little bit smaller than Air Force One, but it is still just as technically capable. This is a C-32A military plane, similar to the Boeing 757. It's not quite as flashy, but it's still very expensive. Every hour on Air Force Two costs $30,000. According to the Air Force Cost Analysis Agency report in 2016, any media and aides who fly with the vice president are required to pay for their seats and their food. The president doesn't always fly in a plane. There are times when a helicopter is the more practical means of transportation. In this case, it's not Air Force One. It's when Marine One comes into action. Just like Air Force One, Marine One is also a radio call sign, and nobody else can have the name Marine One. It signals the Marine Corps helicopter transporting America's commander-in-chief. According to a report by CNBC, the first of the new six Marine One helicopters being built by Lockheed will be ready by this year, 2020. The helicopters have an anti-protection system and heavy-duty armor. The pilots for this new fleet are going to get a great name, too. They'll be called Nighthawks. The president's health is, of course, essential, mainly when they're in the air. Since Air Force One can't land quickly enough in case of an emergency, it is fully equipped with a medical suite and there is always a doctor on board. Essentially, Air Force One has its own built-in hospital. If necessary, this medical suite can be used even as an operating room. Donald Trump has his own plane, and it's luxurious. 
it's believed that his personal plane is decorated all in gold. The seatbelts are gold-plated, it has a movie theater, the plane contains the family crest, and the sleeping quarters are huge. He's just not allowed to fly in it. <laughs> because of security purposes, he has to fly on Air Force One, no matter what. He's often complained that his bed on Air Force One just isn't large enough for him, but the taxpayers, they shouldn't have to pay for him to have a larger bed. There are many other things taxpayers' money should be going to. If you had the opportunity to build your own Air Force One for your personal use, what would you make sure was on the plane? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more.